so uh, hello everyone uh, I just found uh, one of my old projects uh, actually I, no, I found this like material and I wanna share it with anyone who want it and uh, you can download it link is in uh, uh, is in the video description so feel free to use it as you want and uh, this will this video will not be uh, exact like step by step tutorial i will just uh, try to explain you how this material works uh, so it's it's not it's pretty much easy to create this material uh, as you can see i divided this material on some parts uh, i call one part i call called glow and uh, front fog background fog sparks front and sparks back uh, and edge glow right here uh, so let's see what each of these big blocks do uh, let's start from the inner glow as you can see uh, there is a the main node is free nail and if we will use visualize it you will see that it gives you this uh, nice looking gradient from the center to the edges and if you will multiply it on some color and additional value you will get something like this it gives uh, it gives it looks like it's something is inside this ball it gives you the uh, feeling of thickness of deep material deep and uh, then I use these textures just uh, uh, what it is simple cloud textures texture and multiply it on this color if you will multiply it and there is a little animation right here something that I called a pulse and if we will visualize it Here we go. Uh, okay, then next part is fog. Uh, so I have two textures. Uh, one texture and the second texture. And I just use panner and multiply these textures. And ah, in, in the panner, if you look inside you see the uh, speed x minus and uh, cut <coughs> so uh, the panner the textures move in oppositional ways if you will multiply it and then multiply it by, co by color and some additional value you will have something like this. Let's visualize it. Uh, and another layer of this material is almost the same like previous, different color, different uh, brightness and you can see this node right here I wanted to appear one part just like uh, on the top of the other so I use the value from previous layer and let's see how it looks like And if we will just combine these two layers together, 
fog we will have something like this you can see that that uh, yeah front fog the red part is like on the top of this more bright uh, yellow part and after mixing these two layers together I use again the Fresnel function because I wanted to color to be darker uh, to the edges from the center to the edges and uh, what next the next is the sparks the spark texture is just like this just a lot of dots <coughs> uh, again there is an animation panner and I used a uh, distortion texture to little move uh, from side to side these points and if we will multiply these textures one by one and use the color and again uh, as before I use uh, some information from a previous color to uh, make it looks like one on top of the other so there is two type types of sparks front and back back is almost the same <coughs> if we will combine it together we will have let's visualize it <coughs> sorry okay so the sparks is moving up and yeah and what else do we have here again after mixing uh, sparks with each other I use the same free nail and uh, what and then I just like add one layer to another so almost the final version is looks like this and the final part is the edge edge glow so if we will take only the edge glow itself it looks like this see this red glow and uh, here is the final material so thank you very much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to hit like button and uh, you can comment this video I will be ap appreciate if you have any questions just ask thank you goodbye